You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. Hello and as always, it's uh, great to have you back here. Thanks very much for having me back, Daniel. So I was hoping you could uh, introduce our book for this month. Yeah, so the book that we've been discussing this month is The Master of Knots by Massimo Carlotto. And in general, I wanted to um, have an opportunity to talk about translated fiction. So this book, uh, The Master of Knots, is a book translated from Italian and it follows three private investigators trying to get to the bottom of an abduction case. So there's sort of thrills and spills and gangsters and the Italian under world and I really enjoyed this I think the translation itself was done perfectly and the story came across really well which doesn't always happen with translated fiction but I'll go into that a bit later on um, the actual case itself the abduction case wasn't a big part of the story it was more about the relationship going on between these three PIs um, there was a ch- <laughs> they've got really good Italian names as well obviously it's an Italian book Marco Baratti um, Max the Memory and Benny Armo Rossini um, so it was much more about those three and also there's a bit of political aspects going on in terms of um, Max the Memory um, would be taking part in sort of political marches and there was a lot in there about the corruption of the Italian police and things. Overall I liked it, I'd never read this genre before so it's a genre called Mediterranean Noir, Um, I'm sure um, lots of people have heard about Swedish Noir which is a a genre which is sort of to do with uh, murders and people investigating things like that there's a lot of tv programs i think the bridge is one of them um but mediterranean noir so this sort of setting in italy i hadn't really heard of and i don't tend to read too much crime as it is it's just not a genre i reach for but this was different and it wasn't really a sort of like clean clean cut crime thriller but yeah as a overall i i really enjoyed it we were uh, next gonna cover uh, what it's like to read translated fiction yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, it's not without its um, challenges sometimes. So to speak about transla- uh, translated fiction in general is very, very broad. Imagine all the different languages, all the different language speaking places in the world, and you can start to imagine how many languages get translated into English. So translated fiction is something that I've personally come into um, come into relatively recently. It wasn't until I started my BookTube channel that I realised how accessible it is. So it's basically any fiction book that's been translated from a different language and there's just so much good stuff out there so this is the second book that I'd read this year that had been translated from fiction and both are published by a publishing group called Europa Um, they're a publishing house that publish a lot of translated fiction so that's a really good place to start if you're looking to read some Um, sometimes a few parts of the story get lost in translation sometimes there's not always an equivalent word in English um, for that language to be translated into or maybe names get a bit confusing when translated literally so sometimes it can be a bit of a jarring read like you might have to reread a bit a few bits because it just seems a bit strange and it's it's because it wasn't written in English originally but there's also there's also a lot of talk out there about how different a story might come across when translated by two different translators um for instance they might see one part of the book written in a completely different way to the other so it is it is a bit hit and miss but I've got some really good um, titles of good places to start to talk about a bit later on so we are at the moment talking to uh, Lauren. It's uh, all part of our regular book club book reviews. Always you can find out all about the um, book we're reviewing, looking at uh, for this month, of course, by logging on to our website, brfm.net. Uh, the blog I write, Twitter, Google+, and, uh, of course, um, Facebook as well, all by searching Daniel Monday Night Community Show on BRFM. Um, so I think you're going to talk about some uh, good titles to um, start with. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, um, reading translated fiction is something that I've like came in, come into this year after um, starting on my BookTube channel. So one of my one of the, a really really popular book on BookTube um, is The Vegetarian by Han Kang, which is translated from Korean. So this book follows a um, a woman who um, decides to become a vegetarian, which is something completely unheard of um, where she's from, and it's it's told from three different perspectives. It's told from the perspective of her husband, of her brother-in-law, and of her 
sister and it's a really short book and it was just totally mesmerizing and amazing and I really really enjoyed it and it actually went on to win the Man Booker International Prize um, I think it's a really accessible piece of translated fiction and it's really different it's completely different to anything I'd ever read before and I really really loved it so that would be a really good place to start um, another um, book that I didn't get on as well with but it's very very popular and a lot of people love it is um, the book called My Brilliant Friend by Eleanor Ferrante which is translated from um, Italian so that's part of a set of books called the Neapolitan novels um, it tells the um, the story of a young girl Eleanor and her upbringing the first book My Brilliant Friend is about Eleanor and her best friend and they have quite a toxic relationship and it tells about the up their um, upbringing in 1950s Italy um, I, I didn't get on with the book at all but as I said earlier a lot of people really really love this series so don't let me not enjoying it put you off um, the Little Prince by Anton de saint Esprit, um, which is a translated from the French. That is a, a really popular children's book that I think has been made into a film this year as well. Um, that's very, very popular. That's been translated into English and has been going on for, for a long, long time. And then recently I, I read a book, um, Perfect Days by Raphael Montez, which is a sort of... Um, I wouldn't say it's a crime thriller, so it's about a young chap who abducts a um, a girl that he's in love with and he, he, he packs her up in his suitcase and takes her on a road trip of Brazil. Um, that is translated from Spanish. So there are four that I've read this year. Um, three more that I've got here that I haven't read yet, but I, I'm really planning to read soon. Um, firstly is Perfume by Patrick Suskind, um, which is translated from German. Um, that's um, a very creepy story about a, um, a, a murderer. A lot of murder going on with these books. A, a murderer who um, makes perfume from the bodies of his victims which is um, supposed to be really good but sounds super, cre uh, super creepy in terms of um, classics Anna Karenina by Leo T Tolstoy um, which is translated from Russian is a book that I really really want to get around to reading it is humongous I think it's something like 900 pages it's a really really long book um, and lastly The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafron um, that is a book that's translated from Spanish which is really again very popular on booktube um, that's in a series of books so I really would like to get around to some of those but yeah there's some really good places to start but there's so much out there you can literally google um, translated fiction and there's so many lists of the top 10 um, translated fictions especially if you've got a particular language that you want to look into um, there's so much out there I think we're going to talk all about uh, next time's book yeah so I will next be here on Monday the 17th of October at 8 o'clock and we will talk, be talking about Little Sister Death by William Gay and as it's ahead of Halloween we're going to be talking about spooky books in general which is something that we did last year but there's plenty more spooky books out there so I've just got a little um, summary of the book that we will be discussing as I said it's Little Sister Death by William Gay and here is the summary. David Binder is a young, successful writer living in Chicago and suffering from writer's block. He stares at the blank page and the blank page stares back until inspiration strikes in the form of a ghost story that captivated him as a child. With his pregnant wife and young daughter in tow, he sets out to explore the myth of Virginia Beale, fairy queen of the haunted Dell. But as his, as his investigation takes him deeper and deeper into the legacy of blood and violence that casts its shadow over the old Beale farm, Binder finds himself obsessed with a force that's as wicked as it is seductive. A stirring literary rendition of Tennessee's famed Curse of the Bell Witch, Little Sister's Death skillfully toes the line between Southern Gothic and horror and further cements William Gay's legacy not only as one of the South's finest writers but among the best American literature has to offer. So we will be discussing Little Sister Death by William Gay on the 17th of October at 8 o'clock. If you wish to get in touch with me um, about the book or about any of the books that we've ever read or just about books in general, um, you can email me at Lauren, Lauren and the books at gmail.com um, I've meant as I mentioned booktube earlier I've got a YouTube account which is www.youtube.com forward slash Lauren and the books I've also got a Twitter account which you can contact me on which is at Lauren the books and I believe Daniel always um, has that tagged into the his statuses on his Twitter as well so yeah next time will be Monday the 17th of October at 8 o'clock and we'll be talking about Little Sister Death by William Gay hello and as always thank you very much Thanks always for appreciated. Me. Yeah. thanks